All right, so as you know by the thumbnail, this video is going to be all on skin tints. These are going to be my top skin tints that I've used in 2021. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this video is going to be super quick. I only have five and I've used lots of foundation, skin tints, skincare, uh, just all kind of stuff during the past year. And I wanted to pop in here super fast and just talk about the ones that are my top picks. If I've done a video in the past in detail on any of these, I'm gonna link it down below so you can check them out at your convenience. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into the first one. And that would be the Fenty Beauty Ease Drop skin tint. I love this one. For skin tint, it's got incredible coverage without feeling cakey and just looking overdone. You're not going to look overdone, even if you have to apply a second layer. Although a second layer is definitely not needed, this foundation is affordable and what I really like about it is that it plays super well with other skincare products and other makeup like concealer, powder, and things like that. Love the packaging, love the little squeezy top, um, little squeeze applicator, which makes it super easy for quick application because all you have to do is just apply it and do your thing and you're on your way. So this definitely has been one of the best skin tints that I've used this past year. Next up I have a Glowish by Huda Beauty and this is the multi Dew skin tint. Comes in a package like this, very sleek, minimalistic, and I really do like the fact that for this brand, it's super affordable. This one is on the thicker side. However, it doesn't leave you feeling heavy or cakey. Another one that plays really well with other skincare products. If you do have to add a second layer, I would just kind of be careful with that. Um, if you have normal to oily or combination skin because you can start to look a little bit, um, I don't want to say oily, but just a little bit too dewy. But, uh, with all of that said, if you just use a little bit, it looks really good on the skin. And this is definitely one of the better ones that I've used during the past year. All right, so the next skin tint that I have up is by Beauty Blender. This is the Bounce Skin Tint. Love their packaging. Um, this is made of glass. Uh, however, <laughs> I guess I kind of halfway love it, but this has the little syringe top. I don't like that only because it's a little bit messy, but it's definitely something I can get over. As far as coverage, it is on the minimal side. You can build it up, but I would recommend just using a powder. And I always like to use their Beauty Blender powder. I have it in a nutmeg. This is the bounce powder right here. Really, really nice. Really um, adds a soft effect to the skin and these really go well together. But overall, this is definitely one of the better ones that I've used. And if you have mature skin like myself, I would definitely say to check this one out. Next up, I have a product by The Lip Bar and this is their Just a Tint. Really love this one. This one is super hydrating. This one also has hyaluronic acid in it. Again, you are going to get a lighter coverage. And this is another one that I like to pair the powder with it. Uh, these play very well, of course. Um, and it just looks really good on the skin. I really don't recommend adding another layer, but if you have normal oily or combination skin, I would say to kind of be careful with that because it can get a little bit overly radiant. Overall, I have enjoyed using this and it's super affordable because it's drugstore and it also has SPF in it. So you're getting lots of good ingredients and especially the price. I'm really loving the price, but this one is definitely a good one to check out. And the last one that I have up is Tower 28 and this is a tinted sunscreen. Not necessarily a tinted moisturizer or a skin tint, but it's still a tinted product. I do like the fact that it's got a SPF of 30 in it. And I do have to say for this to be a skin tint, I really do like how it plays well with concealers, powders, and things like that. It's a really good one to grab because it has the SPF attached to it. You don't have to think about, oh my goodness, uh, I have to apply my skincare, then my sunscreen, then my foundation, etc., etc. I just found myself adding this 
a quick little layer of powder and I've been on my way. I really love this one and I just think that this one will work really well for all age groups. So if you're in the market for a tinted sunscreen, I would say to definitely check this one out. So that's it, short and sweet. Those are all of my top skin tints that I've used in 2021. Let me know if you've tried any of these skin tints down in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.